Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a short video all about this Artec CNC plasma cutting system. In this video, I'm going to go right back to basics. I'm going to show you how to open the Mac 3 program, which is the program that controls the table and the torch. There's one or two safety things you need to know and need to do before you start cutting. I'm going to go through that. Set up one or two limit parameters, actually load a G-code, and then hopefully we'll cut a part out. Anyway, I'm going to do it all videoing the actual computer screen in here as I do it. It's more like a, a reference video you can go back on and pause and stop and watch and play again. Anyway, we'll see how we get on with it. This is the console for the plasma cutter. That's probably the most important thing there. That's a stop switch. You press that switch, everything stops. Most important, you've got one of those. You just switch. Obviously, we've got a monitor, mouse, keyboard. That's a torch height controller. We'll do a little bit on that, probably in another video. I'll zoom in on the screen, and we'll get Mac 3 up and running. Right, Mac 3 is already loaded for you. It's down there in the bottom. You need to double click it. Or you right click it and click open. Right, that's the Mac screen up and running. The first thing you've got to do is a button here which says reset. So you click on that. That's gone green. So that means now that this is ready to talk to the cutting torch and to the table. This part of the screen shows the X, Y and Z axis. Z being the torch, torch height. These keys are used to move the torch to the right, to the left, forward, backward, and this one here moves the torch up and down. So it's left, right, forwards, backwards, torch up, torch down. There's two micro switches on the left hand side of the table. It's important before you start cutting that you check the function of these. You simply press them and you'll see that probe light go green on the computer screen. As well as testing the motor switches on the X and Y axis, you also need to lift the torch. As a switch in the torch, turn off the soft limits. Using the XY controls, you bring the torch near to the end of the table without it crashing. And back so it's not overhanging. Go back to the computer screen. Where you can see the X and Y axis are green. Press ref all home. The torch pops itself up in its home position. The torch has come across, touch both micro switches, and now it's parked up in its own position. Right, the soft limit is then turned back on once it's all set up. That means you can move the torch around the table without the fear of crashing it. There's one more setting we need to make. That's where it says torch reference. I've got the material here I'm going to be using. So you click torch ref. The torch goes down. The torch comes down, touches the plate. Make sure it knows where it is. That's that done, you just lift it up. Right, next we need something to cut. We need to load a G code down here where it says load G code. And the G code I want to load is that one there, 2i John. So we'll click that, click open. It's loaded the G code, it's put the drone in the screen. Right, so it's brought the drone in, the part we're going to cut. Now we need to move the torch using the control arrows onto the corner of the plate where we're going to start the cut. I'll do that. Ready to start the cut, which is going to be about there. We don't want to waste any material. Right, we need to zero the x and y axis because that's the new starting point then you press regen and that regenerates the cut path what I'm going to do I'm going to start it off 
cutting without the plasma turned on. I've turned the torch head controller off. It'll do a dry run or a dummy run. Right, so that back across here, cycle start, click cycle start, and it will start to do a dummy cut. We'll cut the hole out first. That's the hole cut. Right, and that's back to the beginning again. Right, we'll turn the plasma machine on. Do a gas test on it. 70 psi. Amp machine has been set at 30 amps. 30 amps. Right, if you press the button where it says torch, then we've got a nice straight off way right, to start cutting. Before you start cutting, you need to turn the torch head control back on. Most important. Right, the sorry to go now. Zero the X and Y axis because that's the new starting point. Then you press regen and that regenerates the cut path. Take the start. You should put the hole in first. Let's go. Let's go. 